happening, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wood Metal Workshop. We've got a new tool in the shop, and we're gonna unbox it, give you our first impressions of it, give it a try, and uh, see how it goes. Um, manufacturer of this product said uh, has a video out there going from uh, box to uh, use in under two minutes. So I won't hold out on you any longer. I picked up a Lincoln 210 MP. Uh, for the stick capabilities. I've got uh, everything else in the shop covered as most of you know. I've got TIG, I've got MIG, um, got the oxyacetylene, and, uh, but I didn't have a stick welder. And after looking at all my options, I decided to go with this one because it does scratch, I can add scratch start TIG to it or lift start TIG. Um, <coughs> it'll run MIG and It'll do 220-110, so if I have to take it some welder somewhere, <clears throat> I can pick this one up, toss it in the truck, take it with. I can run it off household uh, 120. Oh, excuse me, something in my eye. I can run it off household 120. I can uh, do a dryer plug adapter and run it off 220. Um, I can run it off my generator on 120 or, or 240. 220, 240, you, you know, it's what it is. <laughs> and uh, this is a very portable machine that I can take with me. Uh, stick welding outside, so I don't have to worry about my uh, shielding gas blowing away. I can uh, haul it down to the lake with the generator and do a repair on the dock or a trailer outside or a vehicle if I have to. Um, so that's why I bought this one. And I looked at all the different... Uh, multi-process units out there and for this type of unit I don't want to go cheap um, honestly um, and it was on sale here through the end of the month uh, with a rebate so pretty a pretty good buy $9.99 after rebate uh, plus of course applicable taxes blah 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 um, so let's get it unboxed I'll show you what's in it and uh, and we'll uh, go ahead and get it set up and see if we can run some beads. Right, you can see that it's already open. This was the uh, floor model. has never been used, but it was sitting out. It was the display model at the uh, welding store I go to. They don't stock a lot of machines. Um, they take the display model, repackage it, send it out, and uh, that way they don't have to keep a lot of stock in the store. So on top we've got... Uh, all the accessories, there's um, the guide roller for your 025, 035, um, some tips and whatnot, extra parts in here, got your uh, gas regulator, stinger holder, ground, your two different cords, 220, 120, and a MIG gun, and your gas hose. <laughs> Honestly, I boxed this back up at the store myself. Um, they brought the box out and I packed it up while uh, the sales lady was writing up the uh, order. and. Uh, I've never ever had anything go back in the box this easily and everything fit right off the bat. So we got our foam, a little protection, and the welder itself. So I'm going to put it up here on the bench, get it switched around, and we'll take a look at uh, some of the features. I'm going to get it plugged in and take a look at it. Okay, pretty simple machine. Got your uh, elect uh, electro lead for your MIG, so you can go uh, electro positive, electro negative, blah blah blah. Power switch right there on the front. <coughs> your controls. Of course, they have a little uh, plastic thing here. This is a replaceable screen shield, and you can or you can get another one to replace this, so you don't because you've got your LED screen behind there. Uh, on the side, 
got your directions in here. Comes with a couple spools of wire. Let's see what, what they send with it here. Some 035 flux core. Um, and that one. And some 025 solid wire. So I do have a 10-pound spool of 025 solid wire that I'll be putting in this machine. Yeah, this, this one's set up with the 025 for doing uh, light sheet metal and body work. And the uh, big SP250 will have the 035 in it for doing everything else. So, and we got a switch here to go to a, for the spool gun if you want to add the spool gun to it. Alrighty. And up here we have the settings charts. Uh, here's all your part numbers if you need to order any parts. Some quick directions on how to use it. And then of course all your recommended weld settings with your amperages and whatnot. So and to go with it I picked up so some Lincoln electric rods, some 6010 for doing rusty nasty metal. And some 7018. So 10 pounds each. They didn't cost there about ten dollars a tube. Not really expensive. Um, I've heard really good things about the Excalibur rods from Lincoln. It's a lot of guys' go-to rod, and uh, so that, that's what I went with. And of course, that's what they had in stock as well. So uh, <laughs> you don't always get 100% choice. Let's see, can zipped up, and it's got a snap-on cover. So keep your rod dry, keep it protected. So we're gonna have to think about that when we're making a rod cart. And the last thing that I picked up while I was at the welding supply was an inert gas Y so I can come off my um, uh, big tank with my two regulators uh, or with the regulator uh, flow, flow meter and uh, go out to two different hoses one for each machine so I don't have to have two tanks of uh, C25 around which works out well because I think the way I'm going to set it up is a special adaption to the SP250 that holds this unit right above the other unit so it still allows me full access to the doors on the other unit and this unit so that's a, that's a project coming down the line a little bit later for now we're going to set this up and, and uh, check it out on some stick Okay, this whole thing's supposed to be really intuitive, so we'll see how intuitive it is. Power cord. That's got to be pretty intuitive. Twist lock style cord. Plugs in just fine. A little safety wire on it, as usual. Don't want somebody accidentally plugging it in. Give me a second, I'll get my cord out here. Okay, got a cord. Select. Uh, I run some seventy eighteen and seventy eighteen. That's 
locked in. Stingers locked in. Or work lead. Not too bad, my first stick weld and uh, other than a practice bead, couple uh, practice beads uh, last uh, January or February. Um, that was the first time I've run stick in probably 10 years. So let's uh, get it flipped around to uh, flux cord. Drive roller flips up.
Turn the machine back on. the home button put a flux cord select Leads locked in tight. O35 wire. 3 16th thickness. should be ready to go. Make sure you guys can see that. I'm gonna grab my MIG players here. Go ahead and hit the trigger. First run, here we go. Well, I have to say, it runs right out of the box, which kind of impresses me. Not everything does these days. Not everything's that easy to set up. Zoomed in on that. Not a bad first weld with a new machine. Mess with the settings a little bit. I don't really run flux core that often. So I prefer shielded bare wire for almost everything I do.
but it is an option now. So guys, straight out of the box, um, that's what you get, that's what you can do. It doesn't uh, take long to set it up. I am running it on 220. Um, maybe I should uh, flip around and run it on 110 for you. Uh, not today, I got all the stuff I need to get going on. But um, So there's your uh, Lincoln Electric Power MIG 210 MP and uh, out of the box, it welds, <laughs> which it should, you know, honestly. <laughs> but uh, the setup was really quick and easy, um, at least for stick and flux cord MIG. Uh, can't imagine it's too hard to hook up the gas hose and hook it up to a tank. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, switch out to a solid wire and run uh, solid, which is what uh, I'll be doing once I get it uh, set up. I got a. 10 pound spool of uh, 025 that'll be in, sitting in this machine and uh, like I said it's primarily I got it for portability and stick and uh, I've got the other MIG welder but it might be it'll probably be my go-to MIG machine for doing thin sheet metal work body work that kind of stuff so there you got it well thanks for watching uh, if you liked what you saw today Please go ahead and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below. We'll catch you in the next video.